My name is Bree Mitchell. I'm the Deputy Director of the Canary Center. I chose early detection, um, I think I came to it from a point uh, very early in my life wanting to do science and wanting to do something that would impact human health and suffering. Um, and when I got to graduate school I knew I wanted to do, to do cancer research. Um, there had been a lot of cancer in my family and it was something that I found to be really interesting. Um, and as a graduate student I got involved in looking at popu population-based studies and epidemiology and started looking at cancer more broadly. Once you start looking at the numbers um, in terms of how people get cancer, what their diagnoses are, and what the survival is, early detection becomes sort of a no-brainer. People who get diagnosed very early live much longer and have much more um, positive survival rates than people who get diagnosed late. So as soon as I started looking at that and figuring that out, I thought, you know, this is something where I can really have an impact. because I was actually working in biotech for the last six years. Um, I didn't really have any interest in going back to academia. I liked what I was doing um, in biotech because I liked being able to see a product impact a researcher. Um, and then I heard about this job at the Canary Center through someone I used to work with. Um, and once I talked to Sam, I got much more interested in his vision because he's really interested in and this, the Canary Foundation and the Canary Center are all really focused on interdisciplinary research that um, is looking at early detection from lots of different angles and that can be translated from the lab into the clinic and really make an impact. Um, and when I thought about the opportunity to be involved in something that could really be um, transformative in the way we view cancer, I couldn't really say no to working here. In a lot of ways what makes Canary unique is its focus on kind of a system approach to early detection. So they're looking at technology, they're looking at science, you know, proteomics, they're looking at genomics, they're looking at imaging. Um, they're kind of taking a broad view of what can we do and they're not ruling anything out. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's unique about the researchers here is that they they each have a focus of things that they're you know, very interested in and experts at, but they also look beyond their focus to say, okay, well, here's my expertise. Who do I know that's doing something where maybe there's an overlap? Maybe we haven't seen that overlap before, but we can do something together. Um, and so that applies to not just technology, but all kinds of new techniques and looking at cancer from different ways. Mm -hmm.